I recently got asked by a subscriber in the comments if I could do a Skytrack bag mapping session so that he could see my yardages for the 2024 season. And I thought, you know what, it's not a bad idea. I've got my Golf Society event coming up tomorrow, so I thought, why not? And I thought I could use it as a little bit of a what's in the bag session as well. I'm going to hit five shots with each club using a Titleist Pro V1 golf ball. The Skytrack bag mapping feature will select the best three of those five shots and work out my average carry distance. Along the way, I'll talk you through the clubs in my bag and the stories behind each one. First up, you're going to laugh at this. It's my 60 degree wedge, okay? This is a Titleist Vokey 60 degree wedge. I have no idea how old it is. It's an SM60.08. Now, I bought this from the Golf Pro at my old golf club. It was about 10, 15 quid, and I just wanted to see what a 60 degree wedge was like, and it's not left my bag since. So what you'll find now, from my sand wedge all the way down to my six iron, is I'm using these very unclean Cobra XL irons. Now these were a package set, basically. So when I started playing golf back in 2018, I think it was, 2019, when I got the bug for the game again, and I started playing properly and I stopped playing footy, in my head, I was thinking back when I was a junior, you used to just be able to buy package sets of clubs. Um, well, I did, anyway. Um, so I just used to, well, when I used to play golf as a kid, I would go to the shop with my dad and uh, there'd be a bag of junior clubs. And I'd be like, right, okay, I'm going to take that set. You've got your putter, you've got your driver, you've got everything included with it. So anyway, my point to the story is, um, back when I started playing again recently, I just wanted to go to American Golf and uh, I went in and I just said, I want a set of clubs. And I didn't realise that you kind of, usually nowadays people buy their woods their irons and their wedges, they buy them all separately. So anyway, what I did, I went to American Golf and I saw these Cobra set, package set of clubs. Um, they were kind of the intermediate level. You could get ones that were a bit cheaper, but I thought, right, Cobra, decent make. Um, they were about 600 quid for the full set, 650 quid, something like that. And they've stayed in my bag ever since. So yeah, I don't play with the best of clubs, I would say. So these clubs are not fitted to me. Um, like I said, they're just straight off the shelf package set. It's more like it. Um, so yeah, they're not the, they're not the right length. Uh, I think they're just the regular shaft. They're not stiff shaft or anything like that. Right, pitching wedge, full pitching wedge. I kind of expect it to go about 120. Just like that. Nine irons a bit hit and miss. I'd usually say about 135, 130 to 135 with my nine iron. Love that. It's a great shot. 131. That's about right on the distances. So again, Cobra XL eight iron. They're all muddy and it's shocking, I know. Um, I got told off by Alex at Golf Swing Systems the other day because I went down to Golf Swing Systems with a couple of clubs and they were dirty. Um, and he said, how dare you play in a golf simulator with dirty golf clubs? So he cleaned them for me. <laughs> but yeah, it is shocking. I need to clean these golf clubs when I've spent all this money on a simulator. Anyway, eight iron, 150 yards, I'd say. It's a nice strike. I don't know about the direction though. Oh, it's delightful. That is amazing. Seven iron, I'm, I'm expecting about 160 to 165, but honestly, the range, the dispersion of my distances with these irons are just ridiculous. You'll probably see that in a minute. But yeah, it can be about 20 yards dispersion at times, which is not good, but that's why I play off 10. Good strike. Love that. 
I wish I could hit one of those every time. 168. One yard to the right of the centre line. Don't you just love that? Okay, 16 again. I feel like this could go anywhere from 160 all the way up to 185. Boom. Love that. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit different because my 5-iron is not the same as my package set of clubs. It's still a Cobra iron. It's a Cobra, it's a King Cobra F8. Now, the reason why I bought this 5-iron was because, I don't know, about a year or so after buying the package set, I realized I needed something a little bit longer um, off the tee because I'm, you got a hybrid with this package set, but I don't use it. I felt like I had a lot more control with the irons. So anyway, I went to the golf pro at Long Ridge Golf Club and he got me this King Cobra F8 5 iron. And you know what? I absolutely love it um, most of the time, yeah? I feel like, again, the dispersion on this, I can hit this about 210 yards, you know, on a good one, obviously. Most of the time it's between about 180, 190 or something like that. But yeah, it just feels a lot more different. You can tell that it is a more higher end iron compared to the package set. You can tell by the shaft, you can tell by the face, all that sort of stuff. So anyone that's still watching this video uh, and you're wondering about a launch monitor and how accurate they are, when you play golf, after a while, you get to know what kind of shot you've hit as soon as you've hit it, yeah? I felt that one straight off, straight off the club face, that was a bit of a snappy, horrible, hooky draw, yeah? And it's just nice to see that these launch monitors, like the Skytrack, replicate it. For this video, I'm using the original Skytrack launch monitor, which at around 1,500 pounds is fantastic value for money these days. And if you're interested in buying one of these, then check out my links in the description below this video to save yourself an extra 5%. That's a great strike. I took my time over that swing. Love that. Drawn in ever so slightly. What a great shot. Okay, sticking with the Cobra theme. Um, it says a two iron on the Skytrack screen. It actually says a three iron on the bottom. But this is a Cobra, King Cobra utility iron, okay? And you can adjust um, the loft on this and I, I kind of have it set to a two iron. Again, it's a similar story to with the five iron. I just wanted a little bit more control off the tee with an iron that's gonna get me some distance. Now, the issue with this is it's a very slappy club. If you don't catch it out the middle, you hear that horrible slap sound and it just doesn't go very far, yeah? However, when I do catch it, I'm, I'm hitting 230 yards with this thing off the tee sometimes. Now, I'm gonna play it off the deck, yeah? I'm not gonna put a tee. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, pl gonna put it off a tee because I would usually use this club off the tee. The one good thing about this is even when, when you don't catch it very well, it does run out a lot still. It does give you a good run, especially on a nice summer's day. But let's try and catch it properly. It's a decent shot. Love that, best one till last. 194, see I'd be well happy with that on the course. Right, the three wood that I've got is again, another Cobra. Yeah, it's King Cobra Rad Speed, okay? Now, the story behind this, um, I got a five wood in my package set, which I didn't want, I didn't really like, I didn't get enough distance off it. There's a big gap between the driver and the five wood distance wise. So, um, I wanted to get a three wood that matched my driver and I'll talk you through my driver in a minute. Um, but they didn't have any in stock. Now, I didn't get fitted for this. I literally went to American Golf Asked them for the driver that I wanted, they didn't have it. But I needed a three wood, so I said, right, give me three three woods. I'll have a go with each of them, stiff shaft, and uh, I'll just see which one I like the best. And this, I've, on the day, 
I was flying with it. And do you know what? I love this club. It goes a long way to say about the feel of a golf club because I went and got fitted for my driver. I'll tell you that story in a minute. Um, but I went and got fit for my driver and I didn't get fit for this. And I just went with feel and I love this club. I love pulling it out of the bag. I'd say like I'm 75% confident with this every time. It's going to go decent distance, decent direction. Off the tee again, three wood. That's the one. A little bit too drawy, but that was a good strike, that. There we go, 233 carry. As I was saying, that's the good one. Right, finally, you get to see how far I can hit it. Not off that small tee, though. This is the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max, okay? Now, I got properly fitted for this driver uh, by my friend and professional at Bolton Golf Club, Matthew Galley. I actually made a video on that. That's quite a while ago now, a couple of years, I'd say. Um, but it's set to nine degrees of loft. It's a stiff shaft driver. Again, the distances that I can carry this thing just vary massively. I can go from 220 all the way up to 275, something like that. So something that I really need to work on is my driver strike and just all round club face control throughout my bag, really. Let's see what we've got. That's a better one. Fade's much better. My, my natural shot shape used to be a fade, particularly with the driver. And then I started trying to work on things like watching YouTube, trying to get a draw because you get more distance. It messed my swing up. But yeah, if I can hit that every time, 250 with a fade, I'm happy. And there's the inconsistency in my game. One little baby fade, followed by a little baby draw. <laughs> but again, 250. I think it's safe to say you'll know what my carry distance are with my driver. And this is the final screen after your Skytrack bag mapping session. It's looking decent. I've got a bit, we're a bit too cramped down here. Seven, eight and six. Five iron and two iron, a little bit too close. The rest of the dispersion between those clubs is not too bad. Average distance is 67 yards with my 60 degree. 86 yards with my sand wedge. 116 with my pitching wedge. Then we've got a bit of a jump up to 128 with the nine, 154 with the eight. That's quite a big jump actually, that, isn't it? Between the eight iron and the nine iron. Not a massive gap between the seven and eight. There's not a big gap there between the six and seven at all. There's the 171 yards with the six iron. Then we're jumping up a bit better with the five. There's not a lot of difference there between the five and the two, as you can see down here. Three wood, 221 yards average carry, and driver, 252 yards average carry. So they are the carry distances of a 37 year old 10 handicap golfer. Let me know in the comments below what you think of my 30 clubs, and it'll be also nice to read what your carry distances are as well. Maybe just for a driver, pitching wedge, and a seven iron, just to see how we compare. Thanks to Yo-Yo Zamolo for the recommendation in the comments. I do appreciate that. I've really enjoyed doing that, to be fair. So, yeah, stick around. Subscribe to Handicap Golf if you're new here and uh, post lots of golf simulator-related content, helpful tips, course vlogs, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, if you're new to the channel, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.